I will be explaining the Hardy Weinberg Equilibrium Lab. This is the meeting chamber. Lab. This is the meeting chamber. 50% of them are dominant allele, 50% of them are recessive allele. The dominant allele are yellow, while the recessive allele are green. According to the Hardy Weinberg Equilibrium Lab, the number of recessive allele and dominant allele will remain constant from generation to generation. In this lab, we will be doing five, genera five generations and see if the number of recessive and dominant alleles remain constant. I will be shaking the ch mating chamber since the Hardy Weinberg equilibrium has to be random. I will pick out the first generation randomly, randomly. And we get 100% dominant allele. It's generation 2. Let's find the results. Here we have 100% dominant alleles. This is the third generation. Now let's see our results. As you can see, it's 100% recessive allele. Generation 4. Now let's see our results. As you can see, 50% of them are recessive alleles and 50% of them are dominant alleles. Last but not least, the fifth generation. As you can see, 50% of our are dominant allele and 50% are recessive. And this is the data for our lab. As you can see, the number of dominant allele exceeds the number of recessive allele. This does not support the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium as the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium supports that both Weinberg equilibrium supports that both are balanced. Factors such as large population were not applied in this lab, causing the data to be flawed.